Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is 8 me 80 summer four four extra. And today, guys, we'll discuss about my quick thoughts on Donald Trump winning this year's presidency. I still I still am in disbelief that he won this election. Now, as much as I say that though, I knew he was gonna win. I had that belief he was gonna win because of his experience as being a former president. And you could see that the people changed their mind. You know. And from 2020, a lot of people didn't want Trump to win because of what he said about COVID-19, saying it was a, a hoax and everything like that. And then in 2016, he defied the odds as an underdog and won it. You know, and I think what Trump is promising now is change. And I think that's what people want the most. And I think that's the reason, primary reason why he won this election is because he's going to he's going to bring change. Because if Kamala Harris had hypothetically won, she would essentially continue whatever Biden was doing and basically do it again. And that wouldn't be changed. It would basically be the same. And I think that's a key thing is that. And I think that's what Americans want is change. Change is important in society. People are not going to like the same thing again and again. You know, and I think that's the key thing in life is that after experiencing it for some time, you don't want to live for it forever. Right. And I think for Donald Trump, he's going to promise to change. And let's be real. This is a huge comeback because especially knowing who he had to go against. You know, this country, he's been charged, he's been convicted, assassination attempts, what happened in 2020, his negative PR, his PR is down the floor. A lot of people don't like the stuff he's saying as a president. Why are you being so racist? Why are you being so homophobic and transphobic, xenophobic, whatever? A lot of people like to accuse him for saying all this stuff. But the truth is, he says a lot, but he actually does stuff. See, I would much rather, this is me personally, and I know a lot of people will disagree with this, but hear me out. I'd much rather have a person that talks stupid and talk crap and still get stuff done. See, if you talk stupid and talk nonsense and you don't get anything done, then if, screw you, man. Because for me, people don't realize in life, actions mean larger than words. Actions are larger than words. And you could say all the stupid stuff you want. And I, I, do, I don't like what Trump is saying. I, let me get, get, be, be fully honest with you guys. A lot of what Trump is saying, I don't agree with. But I certainly prefer, I think, certainly think that he's going to be much more beneficial to America than Kamala Harris. I think under Kamala Harris, we would have continued the same thing under Biden, and we wouldn't get any stuff done. With Trump, a lot of things are going to change. You know, we're going to hopefully get out of the wars that were involved with Russia and Ukraine, and maybe Israel and Palestine, and the economy will improve. Because here's the thing under, I believe, Biden's presidency, um, the economy has gone up. A lot more things are more expensive than it was in the past. You know, and I think Donald Trump has increased the, uh, I think the prices have increased, which is a huge thing. And for me, what most people should be concerned about as Americans is the economy. The economy should be the number one concern. Everything else, like abortion, uh, you know, uh, the wars and some of that is secondary. Economy should be the number one concern. And which president is going to help us, help us serve better the economy? Because that's ultimately the thing that's going to impact us the most. The other stuff, it's going to apply to a certain group of people. It's not going to apply to everyone, you know, and I think with Trump, I want to see if the economy gets better because the economy gets, doesn't get worse. If it gets worse, then then we'll know. We can, And the thing is, Trump can't run for a re-election because this will be a second term. And remember, he'll be the first. He's the second president in history to serve non-consecutive terms, which was done by Gorbachev Cleveland in 1892. So my thing is that for uh, Donald Trump in particular, let's see what happens in his presidency. Right. And it is a huge comeback. Because I, because many people thought that Kamala Harris would win because of how bad Trump's PR is down the floor. And what he's shown is that yeah, I'm still loved. I'm still appreciated. And people still respect me. And for Kamala Harris, man, for the Democrat Party, who's going to be the next person? Because I think the Democrats are on the floor right now. Um, I don't know which political leader is going to unite the Democrat Party. Because I think that's another reason why the Democrats lost this election. Is because there's no unity in the Democrat Party. There's so much conflict with the one in the because a lot of people, as much as I, a lot of people weren't really down with Kamala Harris being the president, and she didn't have to go through a primary process. Keep in mind, she was basically chosen, you know, and so that also I think altered, affected, halted her chances of winning this year's elections because she didn't have to go through a primaries. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's crazy, man. Donald Trump has won this, you know, and um, like I said. He's won this election by a landslide, and let's see what he brings, man. Let's see what he brings. And like I said, I know a lot of people may not agree with my thoughts, but this is just my thoughts, man, uh, with Donald Trump winning the presidency. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you guys agree with me in the comments below? Please run a like and subscribe, of course. 
And yeah, check out our earlier stream that we did today discussing about this with some friends of mine.